Hi everyone, it's Rebecca with LinkingLewisCounty.com and on today's episode of Hear All About It, we have Dan Salmon here to talk about the Tuesday night concerts that are in the village of Lowville. Welcome, Dan. Thank you. We Thank appreciate you for having me. Absolutely. So this is a fun event. Um, this is every Tuesday beginning when? Beginning July, tw or June 28th. Okay. Um, it'll be, the opening will be two bands. So we'll start at five. Our normal starting time is seven or six, but we'll start mm -hmm. at five. And the opening night, we're going to have a uh, band undefeated or a local group uh, uh, with uh, the Dunkel family. Yes, I've actually heard them perform, and they are excellent. I've only seen them on the website, and mm -hmm. I would agree. Yeah. Uh, and at seven o'clock, following undefeated, will be the Nelson Brothers. So we're going to start off with. Like a baseball, double header. Right, excellent. Um, this again is in the Village Park. Um, no charge, no for, charge. The, for the concert, but we are encouraging people to do what? We encourage people first to bring their chairs. Mm -hmm. Second, no alcohol. Yep. No, no tobacco or smoking of any any type. Yeah. And uh, feel free to bring anybody you want, and uh, it is free. It's being sponsored by the Village of Lava, Pratt Northam. Okay. AmeriQ in the county. Okay, excellent. Um, there will be food on site and on the, Tuesday nights. Yes, correct? the the Legion will have an expanded menu from last year, so you can come there and, and and enjoy a meal there. Or we would encourage you if you want to go out before at any one of the local eateries or Absolutely. afterwards at any one of the local eateries. Uh, we have some fine ones right in walking distance. You have Jeb's. You have you sure do. Tony Harper. You have. Uh, Gary's, um, to name three, I hope I haven't missed anybody, I don't believe I have, that's within walking distance, so. Right, you got the Bateman Draft House, Bateman. you got, yeah. yeah I don't places. know if the Bateman that Draft House is open on Tuesday nights. That's a good point, check their schedule. Um, so yes, we encourage people to either um, get some food with the family at the event, um, or or do both, go out to dinner beforehand, get a snack at the concert. Yep. Um, were, will the car show be that going on that night as well? The car show, like last year, will be in conjunction, or we will be in conjunction with the car show. Okay, perfect, yes. perfect. So this, um, you've got, so the first one is June 28th, and you're going all the way until the 23rd. Yes. Um, why don't you just list down some of the names of, of the groups that you've got? Uh, on July the 5th, Bill Burkhard will be in uh, with uh, his partner, possibly. Uh, that's to be determined. Okay. On the 12th, we have Josh Breen. He will be new to the concert series this year. Then on the 19th, we will take off uh, in consideration of the Lewis County Fair, okay. which uh, the village works, I think, very, very well with. Uh, and we want everybody to attend the fair. Absolutely. We should mention, since you've mentioned that, um, there won't be a concert that night, but the village will be at the grandstand to announce what? And that night, uh, the village last year instituted, instituted a Citizen of the Year Award. Okay. Uh, thanks to uh, the support of the village board, we give out a plaque, we, we acknowledge the winning nominee, we acknowledge the person that put in for the winning nominee okay. and we give a couple of gift certificates and, and a plaque and in the village office we have a plaque uh, with about 30 for the next 30 years. I hope past uh, my time that uh, it will continue. I, I appreciate the village board in supporting this endeavor. Um, you know, I think it's time in the village that uh, it shouldn't be all business. We need to start having some fun, and that's. Yeah. I wanted the village concert a few years ago. I invited uh, the uh, a business manager from Town of Webb to come down. He gave us a speech, and it didn't really catch fire. And then last year, when I brought it up and approached Pratt Northam, the village board gave it its blessing, and Excellent. it went it went over. I think fairly well. Well, we certainly have. A plethora of citizens in our village that are worthy of an award. You mentioned that these are done by nomination. Yes, and the only criteria anybody can nominate somebody, but the criteria is they have to live in the village. Okay. And from there, I wanted it to be impartial as to how we selected it. So I approached with the village board, allowing so the government class at Laval Academy, uh, T.J. Fail. And so they have 
I've done a nomination. I block out the names of the person they're nominated, but a lot of the synopsis, based on what you read, you're pretty much going to know who, who it is as a, a lot of the class, and some may sure. not. But this year we had 31 uh, people judge, and we had five nominations, and I think the person that took first place got 15 votes, and the second person that took second place got eight votes. Okay, so we should mention this has already been, the nominations are in, there's already been the, the vote, and the unveiling will be the On night July, of... Ju July 19th, okay. uh, the village has ordered the plaque from our, our local jeweler, and uh, we will update the, the small... Uh, piece plaque that goes on the the plaque in the village office mm -hmm. which hangs in there and the winning recipient's name will be under last year's recipient Josh Fitzgerald. Okay great well we and Josh will be there to pass the torch <laughs> in the award. He, okay. saw, he told me he would. Excellent all right so anyone that's interested in who winds up with that um, award can uh, be there in the grandstand on the 19th. Correct. Okay, so back to the concert series. So after the 19th, the next concert is the 26th. Sixth. And okay. right now, what happened was we had an opening on July 5th. Bill Burkhardt decided he would move up to that date. Okay. And so as of right now, we're still looking for somebody for the 26th. I, I don't see any issue with that. I'm sure we'll have somebody. Okay. But if right now we don't. Okay. How would anyone get a hold of you if they're looking to fill that spot? The minute that's, well, they can contact Brian Trainer. Brian is okay. handled through LLG. Mm -hmm. He's handled the, uh, the bands and he's been the MC and uh, he's worked very diligently and very hard to assist in this in this endeavor. Excellent. Okay. So then after the 26th, now we're into August, what do we got that night? We've got Doc Yukon and I've talked to Brian Byer and I, I gotta put him on the spot. I've challenged him to learn a new song that I loved in the late 70s by Savoy Brown okay. called Tell Mama. Rather, rather Brian will be able to pull it off or not, I don't know, but <laughs> he, he said, he asked me uh, Saturday to text it up to him uh, how to find it and, and what have you. So. Okay. We'll see what happens. So later. anyone that's interested to see if he's able to complete the challenge come on August 2nd. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I probably shouldn't have put Brian on the spot. <laughs> well. Not only, if it happens, great. If it doesn't. Right, right. I mean, Doc Yukon is a, a big favorite in the area. Mm -hmm. Along with, I'd have to say, along with the Nelson brothers, uh, yes. they're the two favorites. I think that uh, people will, the big sexy he played at the fair a few years ago. Mm -hmm. I've never heard him. But I understand he's excellent also. Okay, and he's coming on the 9th? He's coming on the following week, yep. uh, August the 9th. Okay. And then for all the polka lovers. Oh, you gotta love Fritz. We've got Fritz coming on the 9th, uh, on the 16th. Okay. And then to, to uh, round out the schedule. Okay. We have Due North, uh, and every, any local knows Tony Leck, mm -hmm. and he is uh, Due North. Okay. So, I hope people will come out. We had we had a good crowd last year. We averaged anywhere from 150 to 300 people on any given night. Excellent. Um, like I said, we're, we're also, the fire department is talking that a couple of nights they may open the firehouse so that the uh, children can see the fire trucks. Great. And so that uh, everything is on a friendly basis, they may have popcorn. Mm-hmm. And snow cones for okay, kids. Okay, excellent. A couple of it's, it's definitely, you know, it's a good family event uh, with, with there being food and live music. There's the park right there, the playground, yep. uh, the basketball courts, all that kind of thing. So it's definitely. I encourage people on a Tuesday night to come out and have some good, wholesome family fun. Absolutely. Look at some cars and uh, do the thing. So, other than the, f the first night being a, a double header, is all the concerts going to start at 7 o'clock? 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. Six okay. o'clock uh, uh, at the beginning of this, it says all concerts begin at six unless otherwise noted. Okay. So the first night, Undefeated will play at five. They'll tear down. Nelson Brothers will start approximately seven. Okay. You know, maybe an hour and a half uh, for them and an hour and a half for on the okay. on the opening night. Um, cancellation due to rain. How would people find out about that? We'll try and let them know via the radio station and what have you. If you see storm and eye in the sky, take a look. Uh, yeah. And uh, we did have one cancellation last year. I think it was Fred and the Eds, okay. and Fred and the Eds played later in the year. Great. So, you know, that's a, certainly a possibility. Okay. Let's hope that it doesn't happen, but, right. you know, it, it very well could. Okay. Well, Dan, we appreciate you coming in um, again. Fun family event, live music, food, 
vintage cars, uh, a lot going on. Anything else you feel like we should mention? It, um, the only thing I would say is if you're in listening distance to this, we're proud to put this on. We thank everybody that uh, has assisted us, again, that I mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. And if you can get to a concert or two, uh, like I said, if you go on our website, Village of Lavo, and it's right on the home page, you don't even have to do a search, you'll, you'll see all the bands that are listed. I hope in the next few days I'll have these out and about to the local establishments so that they can be posted and come out and have fun. Excellent. Well, thank you, Dan, for thank coming you. in, and I hope you get record numbers, and uh, everyone enjoys, enjoys a great night in the Village of Lavo. That'd be nice. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>